This is DM3, Yamaha's new series of compact digital mixing consoles that let you do more. Whether you're producing podcasts, recording and making live music, or controlling conference sounds, DM3 series provides all the tools you need without wasting any time you don't have. In the previous episode, we explored all the input channel features. Now, we're looking at outputs and effects. Just like the inputs, all output channels have a four-band parametric EQ, dynamics, and up to one second of delay. In addition, mix outputs one to six and the Stereo Master have a 31-band graphic EQ. This is useful for quickly adapting the shape of the sound to reduce the chance of acoustic feedback at problem frequencies. You know, when a microphone gets used close to a loudspeaker. Use the RTA, real-time analyzer, to help locate the correct band. Then touch and drag the screen, or use the touch and turn knob to adjust. Or assign the graphic EQ to the faders for more tactile adjustment. Don't forget, you can swipe from the right of the screen to copy and paste or flatten the graph. The library for outputs includes presets for a variety of loudspeakers in different environments and for specific in-ear monitors from Fit Ear, Shure, UE, Westone and, of course, Yamaha. Use them to help you get a good sound quickly. I've already introduced Sends on Fader Mode to you in a previous episode. If you touch the Send From area, these levels will appear on the screen. And you can now access the Pre buttons. These determine how the Send From Input to Output works. With Pre On, the input will go to the output at the determined level no matter where the channel fader is at. It gives that output bus an independent mix. Great for feeding a different blend of sounds to each musician in the band. However, with pre-off, the send will be post fader. So if the channel fader is down, the sound doesn't reach the output. Useful if you want this output to broadly copy the mix you produce for the Stereo Master Bus. Like you would for a supplementary part of a PA system, such as subwoofers or front fills. You can access several handy shortcuts from this screen too. For example, make every send pre. Or set all to nominal, that is 0 dB useful for creating subgroups where one fader can be used to adjust the level of a range of channels together. Or duplicate the main stereo mix. That's really useful in a recording session to quickly make a headphone mix for the musicians. Or use it to quickly create a live stream mix in addition to the PA system mix. See, DM3 is truly multi-purpose. The three words, Swiss, Army, and Knife, come to mind. Now, there are two high-quality effect processors inside each DM3 console. By default, they are assigned to reverb and delay effects, but there are plenty of types and presets to choose from. Each input channel strip shows the effect send levels and the send is post fader by default. So if the channel fader is down, the signal won't reach the effect unit. There's a master level for the sends to the effects 
in the effects mon fader layer. Touch the effects buttons near the top right of the screen to quickly access them at any time. The main parameters are always on the top page with more detailed functions on the second or third pages. Make sure the effect label is green for active. And touch the icon to change the effect type. There's a wide variety of reverbs, delays, and modulation effects. Alternatively, you can swipe from the right and open the library to find a range of useful presets created by experienced professional sound engineers for a variety of musical applications. For example, recall a reggae delay for your lead vocal. Or a rockabilly delay for your guitar. Apply a HD plate reverb to your drums. Or a lush R3 large hall reverb to your backing singers. You may not have expected such high performance effects to appear in a mixer this small. But remember, Yamaha has over three decades of experience and expertise with compact digital mixers, and even more than that with professional effects units. In the next episode, I'm going to show you how these consoles are particularly suited to streaming and recording, both in a studio and at a live event. DM3 series clearly lets you hear more and therefore do more.